who does not love a good themed bar? There's a new spot that is sure to make you feel like you've joined the circus. That was ringmaster. Good, you would be a great ringmaster. <laughs> so St. Julian Social Club just opened their doors in Montrose, and the pop-up bar celebrates the rich tradition of circuses, carnivals, and the hardworking folks who bring them to life. Lauren Kelly is giving us a peek inside this whimsical concept. Lauren, how's it going out there? Oh. <laughs> hey, 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 Derek and Tessa, how do I look? Do I fit right in yet? I've oh, yeah. always wanted to be a part of the circus. So, good. so I thought the closest way in is definitely to stop in Montrose over here, St. Julian Social Club. Congratulations, guys. You just opened up last week, grand opening, and the concept is so fun. It's pretty blinding, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, Ben, you have obviously been uh, bartending for many, many years now. How did this concept kind of come to life? Well, my wife used to date a clown, so I've got some pretty big uh, shoes to fill. I don't know if that's a joke about an ex, <laughs> but it's really good. Okay, and so you've always been kind of on the food side of things. Right, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about how you guys kind of got together and uh, came up with this. Well, Ben and I have been friends for over 20 years, and we have always talked about opening up a place like this that was all inclusive and very encompassing of a certain theme, and we thought, what better than the circus theme? And so that's what we came up with here at St. Julian. Do either of you have any past experience in any actual circus? Not an actual circus. No, Rob and I are both uh, both failed stand-up comedians, and that's where we <laughs> fell in love with like, <laughs> the very bottom rung of show business. <laughs> so you didn't just grow your beard and your chops out for this bar, right? No, I did grow oh, these. Did. Yes, oh, yeah. <laughs> so I love the way you kind of described it, though. This is kind of a stop for anybody who's coming in for some fun. They want something different that they're not going to find anywhere yeah. in Houston, right? Yeah. Let's start with a couple of the cocktails that we did see me take a little sip of earlier. Mm -hmm. What did I have? This one is the movie butter popcorn cooler. Okay. And it absolutely tastes like movie butter popcorn. Exactly. Nobody's going to give me a James Beard Award for pouring <laughs> vodka on Skittles, but that's <laughs> what I'm doing. All right. So this is a vodka infused with uh, with movie butter jelly beans. Okay. All right. And then it's a, there's a cookie uh, syrup that I make, and then it's, uh, it's topped with a little bit of soda. So okay. it's, it's not sweet like cake. It's sweet like pie. Oh, yeah. That's that's a really good comparison. And then this one was called the Peep Show. What was in that? That's Mezcal. It's a circus peanut syrup that I make. A little bit of orange and a little bit of lemon and a little bit of Angostura. So I like that you said you make those things. You're actually creating those items. Yeah, we, yeah. we do actually make those. That's, that's so the awesome. yeah. All right, so I want to talk about the sushi, which is very wow. highfalutin for this spot right yeah. here. But that's not what kind of sushi that you're probably thinking of. Let's this, talk about that. This is our candy sushi. <laughs> I you know with most sushi you have like a rice base. Well, that's a rice crispy base with some sweet candy put on top. And then instead of being wrapped in seaweed, it's wrapped in a fruit roll up. And it has a little bitty wasabi seed on it. That is the kind of sushi that I'm talking about. Yeah. But also what you just made for me, what I'm smelling, you can't go to a carnival or, or any kind of fair without the Frito pie, right? Yes. This is our Frito pie made with our own in-house made pineapple chili. Pineapple, pineapple chili. chili, that yeah. sounds award winning. It, it is award winning several, several, several times over. Um, if you taste it, you'll taste a hint of pineapple. Right. It's not going to be overpowering, all right, all right, all right. and it's got a little bit of heat to it. Mm, uh, oh my god! Mm, oh my god! <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm let's. Very proud of it. Let's talk a little bit about the other fun parts of the bar. We spun the prize wheel over there. How does that whole concept work? I see different things that you can win on this wheel. There's lots of different prizes on there. We have our dice boxes. Those are like, a, it's almost like a kid's birthday party prize pack, right? So it's filled with all kinds of whimsical fun things, little stabby knives. Who doesn't glasses. love to come to a bar and get a party favor? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Every spin is a win on that one. Every spin is a win. And there's some big prizes. Right now, our big prize is coming from Citadel Gin. Awesome. It's coming from the Maison Ferron uh, company. It's a great big Citadel Gin beach chair and beach umbrella set. That's the grand prize tonight. It'll be changing nightly. I love Assuming this. Assuming somebody wins it. Absolutely. Yeah. It could be me. I I want to mention, though, you guys, this place is only going to be here so far, temporarily, for right. three months, and then we're kind of just giving it a trial run? Sure. This is a test run to test out the concept and see what we can come up with recipes and different things. It's like we make all of our in-house infusions, all of our food is made in-house, so we're okay. test driving different stuff. And hopefully after that, we're here till uh, Halloween is our, our final right. night here. Well, come on by. Get your costumes or your clown noses ready. I think I'm ready to go for the next stop here. You guys are open tonight. Way, this might be a little bit big on my head, <laughs> but I think I am ready for the circus. And if you come in, you're going to hear the story of why we're called St. Julian. Oh. St. Julian is the patron saint 
of carnival and circus performers, and we what? tell the whole legend. Tell me the rest of it right now. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Derek and Tessa, this is a great stop that you have to come by. I, I think I need a smaller uh, ringmaster hat, though. No, this you don't. doesn't seem to fit me, Ben. No, that one's perfect. It's supposed to rest on your nose, so. Oh, right. Let perfect. the hat wear you. Oh, you don't wear the hat. That's a perfect. Perfect, perfect. Lauren, you're always having so much fun. Uh, bring us back some Frito pie if you can. It looks delicious. And that's sushi. I really love Frito pies. Okay. <laughs>